Now, if you've been hearing about the almost constant stream of 2021 games getting pushed out beyond that day into 2022, potentially 2023, we're talking about games like Lord of the Rings, Gollum, Gotham Knights, Hogwarts Legacy, big games which have been delayed, you could be forgiven for thinking that 2021 is not going to be a great game, great year for games. However, good news is there is in fact loads of good games coming out in 2021 for the PlayStation 5. And in this video, we're going to cover five of the best of those that you should look out for that will, fingers crossed, they really should be, will be coming out in 2021. So getting straight into it then, we're going to start off with two games that we have covered on this channel. So first up for you, we have Horizon Forbidden West. Now this is a sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn and it looks absolutely amazing. You check out the trailer, it looks really, really good. In this game, once again, you're going to be Aloy, it's got extra features in there. You're going to be able to go underwater. The map's going to be bigger, it's going to be set around San Francisco. But you've got Nevada and various places around there, Utah as well, I believe. You're going to be facing loads of new types of creatures, all mechanical again. Um, it should be a really, really good game. Like I say, we've covered that this before on our channel. I'll put a link below to the video which tells you all the interesting new things that you'd want to know about this game if you're thinking about buying it. So that's Horizon and Forbidden West. We don't know exactly when in 2021 this will be coming out. Hopefully you find out soon, um, but it will come out in 2021. So second game then is God of War Ragnarok. Now, God of War was an amazing game. If you've played that, I'm sure it's right up there with one of your favourites. Um, and God of War Ragnarok hopefully lives up to that. Um, again, we, again, we don't know exactly when this is going to be released, but as it stands, it's still 2021, and we know very little about the game um, apart from, obviously, it's got something to do with Ragnarok. Now, I said we, uh, we've covered this before on this channel. I have a, a video talking about what Ragnarok is, and that's kind of the lore behind it. So if you want to watch that again, I'll put that in the description. But God of War Ragnarok, that is another one to look out for. Number three, then. Number three is Far Cry 6. So again, don't know exactly the release date of this one, but it should be 2021. It's, uh, once again, this is set on a tropical island, which personally, I always prefer the Far Cry games, which are set on a tropical island. Not really sure why, but personally I do, so I think that bodes well. Um, again, it's not that we necessarily know a lot about this, this game. You are a resistance fighter, and you are fighting some sort of dictator, which, uh, you know, th th that's not really uh, too, too much of a change from prior Far Cry games. So I think you probably know what you're getting with this one, even if we haven't had all the details yet. So number four then. So number four is Ghostwire Tokyo. Now, uh, I'm sure you've probably seen um, so, some interesting videos on this one. I think when this very, very first got announced and you saw the sort of teaser video or whatever you want to call it, it looked just really difficult to know what this game is going to be about. It's obviously supernatural, there's a paranormal edge to it. Um, but it just it just really wanted you to to know more about it, uh, which we do know more about now. And I'd say probably from that first video to what we know now, it feels like it's uh, different to what I expected. Uh, however, it still looks good. It sort of a, looks like still looks like a strange paranormal game. We know in that you're going to be fighting spirits as and when you learn um, new abilities, and fundamentally you are um, just trying to work out what's happening in the world. So that, that looks really, really interesting and it looks like soon you can push the, the PS5 or not necessarily push it, but get so much more out of it than potentially some other games. So the graphics should really be quite amazing. So like I say, that's one uh, to look out for and that is going to be 2021. So then the fifth game then um, is Returnal. And I've said this one to last. This is, the, we know when this one's coming out. This is coming out on the 30th of April, 2021. Now this game, again, looks very interesting. It's hard to tell exactly what it's gonna be. Uh, we know it's sort of a reality bending, combat heavy, intriguing game set in a strange and ever-changing world. Now, if that doesn't entice you, uh, I don't know what will. Um, but like I say, it should be quite different. Um, and, uh, you know, again, you know, th these days they tend not to let us know too much about the games beforehand. Uh, we don't know too much about this one, but it certainly looks interesting and um, I really hope it's original, which, um, like I say, it suggests it's probably going to be. Now, so those are five games for you. There's, that's just to get you a taste of what's out there. There's plenty of other stuff um, out there as well. But like I say, the, these five are, are, are ones which really sort of stand out to me. Now, if you enjoyed this video, uh, like it. Love it if you subscribed and I'll see you on the next video.